Hello Internet, it's Dee, back again with a slightly uncanny, unfinished face of makeup. Because we're gonna put more computer algorithm randomly generated sort of kind of it's an algorithm I'm not quite sure how it works makeup palette on her face. Yay! Today's color palette is... This! It's, uh... I almost want to say, like... I get kind of like a, a 70s vibe, maybe? Or maybe like a Christmassy vibe? Like we got some dark greens and reds and golds. So who knows? Maybe this will be a great festive Christmas look. We'll find out. This is the color palette I've done today to represent these colors. I have two reds on here because I plan to use both a red liquid lipstick and a red powder. So yeah, this is the palette we're working with. Um, obviously, I'm gonna put red on my lips because I don't, I don't think that green would look so, so great on me. That and I think a green that exact shade would probably be really hard to find or very expensive. Neither of which I want to do right now. So let's start with the eyes. The first color I'm going to start with is, once again, from the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm going to be using that light, limey, greeny yellow shade right here. And then I realized I forgot to prime my eyes. Oops. Gotta do that first. Little sponge, where are you? No, when did that get on me? Right, where was I? And I'm gonna just kind of take that mostly above the crease. Because I guess this will be our transition shade. When you get randomly generated colors, you can't exactly be uh, the choosiest when it comes to that. What will blend into another color and hopefully not look terrible? There, there we go, transition. On a slightly thinner brush, I think I'm gonna sweep a little bit of that. Just kind of on my under eyes, too. Some people like to do, like, all the top first, and then move on to the under eye after they've finished the top. Me, I don't know, I kind of like doing it all together. I feel like it helps it be more cohesive. Then again, if I hate it, then, well, there's more to erase, but, well, trade-off. For the next shade here, this, uh, I don't know, this more standard green, it's, it's not really a light green, it's not really a dark green, it's just, it's just a green. I'm going in with, uh, oh no, needy kitty. Squigs, come here. What? I'm doing things, Bat, get out of here. Anyway. I'll be taking uh, the NYX Ultimate Brights palette and using the nice green just right in the corner here. And I'm going to take that. Where do I want to take that? Mostly, I think I'm just going to start to deepen the crease a little and blend it in to our limey shade. Our lemony limey shade. The one we started with. And also going to take a tapered brush and run a little of that on my lower eyelid. And now for this really deep dark green, I'm going to be taking the shade Corduroy from the Emily Edit Wants palette. And I happen to know that this one is really dark, so... I'm going to take it on a slightly flat, a little bit tapered brush, and then just kind of work to really deepen that gradient. And bring it down onto, like, this kind of outer portion. Ooh, ooh, there's some fallout there. That's okay. I can fix it very pigmented, but it is a little wild. 
Oh yeah, it's it wants to go everywhere. I appreciate its enthusiasm, but uh, not not quite that much. Not quite that much green. Okay, let's try to fix that. Perfect. Fortunately, I powdered this area so it wasn't like just stuck there forever. Okay, let's try to blend that a little bit. Hello, cat. This is what happens when I don't shut the door, but it's really f***ing hot in here and I do not want to shut the door right now. Or I will die. And now, since that shade is a little wild, I'm going to very carefully take it on a little itty bitty teeny tiny taper brush that I now see has fiber in it. Get out of there. Dip that into corduroy. Tap off the excess, because oh geez. And try to really gently line my lower lash line with it. Hopefully without having it just take over everything. Okay, so far so good. I see this little tiny piece of glitter right by my eye and I have no idea where it came from. Because I don't think any of these shadows I put on yet are like really that shiny or glittery at all. Reinforce it a little on the top of my lash line too. There's a little area right here that's looking a little odd, but that's because I have a little red spot right there that's unfortunately making blending slightly more difficult. And now trying to just gently blend it. Squigs, I'm filming! And finally for this nice orangey yellow macaroni color, back into the NYX palette for that shade right there. This one I think I am just going to take on my finger and see if I can just concentrate it right into that inner portion of my eye. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'll try my pinky. This would probably look really pretty with just like some gold glitter there, but I don't have any shades that just quite get that that macaroni and cheese look. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call that good for eyes, and I'm going to put on some mascara off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, all I did was put on some mascara and line my inner eye with white. Um, I decided not to do big falsies or a dramatic wing. I just kind of like keeping it like this, I think. So now it's time for blush. Out of all the color options I got, well, the only thing that I think would even remotely work as blush is red. So we're just gonna go full red blush and it's gonna be intense. So yeah, to do that, I'm gonna use this kind of tapered fluffy brush here and I'm going to dip in. It's a very small pan, but I'm gonna try to kind of just dip into this red shade here from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. All right, let's do this. Whoa. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's some blush. Look, this wasn't... I didn't pick this, okay? Let's take some on this side. Whew. It looks very, um... Either I'm very cold, or like I'm sunburned. I'm kinda, I'm trying to blend this, but it's just very intense. Honestly, it's so intense, I think I just should go like all the way and put a little bit on my nose. Just kinda to help make, transition it. Make it look maybe slightly more natural, like it is like a cold day or something. Or I just have a sunburn. Maybe this is just the sunburn look. Uh, yeah. 
that's uh that's a lot do I, does it look like i have tan lines do i need to like bring it up a little higher so i don't have like i don't know goggles where like all of a sudden i'm really really light right under my eyes okay i think that's our blush wow yeah Okay, you know what I think this actually needs to make it look a little bit less, maybe like, horribly sunburned? Is... Freckles. This is an Essence pencil. Just in a brown. I've never really done, like, fake freckles much, so... Uh, I assume you just sort of spot them on and then you have fake freckles. Let's give it a try. Why not? Freckles typically form naturally on the highest points of the face, so that's where I'm kind of trying to keep it centered, just where the light would most naturally hit. Something like that. Well, I feel very... I feel very Tumblr aesthetic. <laughs> I don't know, it's like the art style on there. It loves... A lot of people love to give people this, like, really intense blush and freckles. Is that... I don't know, at least that was a thing when I was on Tumblr more active. I don't know if that's still a thing anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of try to blot these a little bit to kind of... Blend it out. Well, not really blend it, but just soften it a little bit, maybe? You know what I also feel like? I think- I feel like a strawberry. <laughs> strawberry makeup. And lastly, we're going to do lips. I found this extremely, almost kind of- it's very warm-toned red uh, liquid lipstick by Caked Makeup. I'm normally not a huge fan of liquid lipsticks, but honestly, like, this was the only warm-toned red I had in my collection. All of my other reds are, like, have more of a cool, purpley undertone to them. All right, I'm going to fix my hair and then we'll do the finished look. All right, and this is the finished look. All this blush, I look embarrassed. So, what do I think of this look? Um, well, it's a little intense, but you know, I don't actually hate it. Um, I think it could either work as like a very summery or a very wintry look conversely. Like, if you're going for more of the like Christmas colors thing, it could make a good wintry look. Or conversely, if you see more of like a strawberry shortcake thing in it, that could be a very cute summery look. Um. Would I wear this again? I might? It's hard to say, really. I mean, I don't know if I'd wear all of it together. I really, I mean, I think it actually turned out pretty cute on its own, but I could see also mixing in some different colors and if, for, you know, just getting different effects and stuff. Well, uh, that should do it for this video. Hopefully you think I transformed these colors into an actual look. Not that these are intended to be wearable per se, I'm just, I'm, I'm literally making it up as I go. I have, I don't usually have a, much of a plan going into these looks. I might have a vague idea in mind, but then it's just sort of a, 
Oh, I don't know. Put that there. See how it looks. If it's bad, take it off and try again. But yeah, I'm curious. Comment down below. Would you actually wear something like this, or do you think this looks f***ing wild and you would never want to put this on your face? Also, if you do try this challenge, oh my gosh, please, please tag me. I want to see what you make. I want to see what color mind gives you. Particularly for people that probably have way bigger makeup collections than me. Although if you do do it, Please try to credit me. I'm just a small little baby YouTuber. I'm just trying to start. You gotta help me out. So yeah, subscribe for more so I don't get lost in the YouTube void. And I will see you in the next video.